Hey everyone, welcome to part 11 of the Devil May Cry free playthrough. After we are I just, nearing the end. After I just recover from that shocking twist. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well your face is an absolute picture. <laughs> I expect a spanking from Daddy Ritter. No, uh, Virgil's gone, but you left one thing behind. Beowulf. How did he leave this behind? Did he the cutscene did it? you not see? He fell off the the platform. And, but the, but he didn't have the gauntlets on ah. when he fell. Oh, okay. Now you have to switch out to Beowulf because uh, there's you see up the very top of the screen there, there's a combat adjudicator that you must break in order to proceed. So uh, this is one of the few times I switch weapons. Switching to Beowulf here. So what does Beowulf give you? Remember his moveset? Punches DMC, and kicks. Yeah, remember his moveset DMC4? Think that, but with not as many moves. Like okay. his, his basic right. melee, melee, melee combo is... Two, two punches, then a kick. Uh, I forgot to bring this up, but uh, Virgil does has one of his main attacks in the previous boss fight. He does two punches, then a roundhouse kick. Yeah, so, basically, uh, this weapon is Capcom showing off that they also did Street Fighter. Yeah. Okay. The pause combo for this, you do two punches. I think I show it off. There's the free hit combo. Here, yeah, so oh, there's the pause combo. If you tap, it's melee, melee, pause, then melee, and if you tap, tap triangle really quickly after that, you, Dante will start kicking like crazy. Right. It's essentially million. It's essentially like the. It's it's pretty much the same as the million stabs combo for rebelling. Only you don't get as much reach. Of right. course, you will have an easier time because you're the bottom masher. Right. Yep. <laughs> 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 no, that must pain you, Andrew. <laughs> Every time we play RE Five Survivors, Andrew knows he's fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, any time we play Mario Party, we where a mini game involves Dominic. button mashing. Yet to get domination, but when we do, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Andrew's only hope of beating that would be to pause mid game to try and throw me off. Uh, <laughs> I have a better. No, I have a better idea. Turbo controller. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <a> cheater. <laughs> so now, what we need to do is head back towards the. That water really looks odd. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the one thing that didn't get <laughs> an increasingly graphic. I know this was like a PS2 game, but... The water yeah. looks amazing in RE4 on HD version. So, uh, you, you remember where we had to go to to, to fight Cerberus? No. Now, <laughs> no, where there was a shrine right outside before that boss fight, we need to head back there. Yeah. Because yes, that's where the mission automatically We're now at the backtracking part of the proceedings. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Devil May Cry 4 was the worst for the backtracking. No, uh, these are, oh, that's another thing these assholes love to do. If you try and jump over them when they're facing you, they'll they'll stab their swords upwards in an attempt to hit you. Uh, air hike will make if you use air hike though the double jump, they'll never hit you with it because you go way above their range. I hate these guys because you can't combo them. Right. Is that supposed to be a line statue on their shield? Uh, line, yeah, I think so. Why need a thing? Oh, so I took chip damage, that happens if you touch the shield. Right. And that will kill you instantly on Heaven or Hell difficulty. Oh, for God's sake. The difficulty where everything dies. Aye. In well, the silver lining is that everything dies in one Including time. bosses. It wasn't until DMC4 onwards that they introduced the bullshit that was Hell. So hell. that mode, that's not as bullshit if you if you oh, were to go through that mode. Me, right. Believe me, Heaven or Hell is like, it's just Easy. a breeze. Com but once you get to hell and just, hell, you're gonna oh, want to fucking it. cry. <laughs> yeah, you can see when they were making heaven and hell, they forgot the fact that Dante has guns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like hell and hell, you're gonna you're gonna want to just give up. Access <laughs> ah, on uh, the enemies are on Dante must die. Son of Sparta enemy layouts but and you die defense, in, but you die in, in one hit. <laughs> You uh, have to S right oh, all wouldn't of it. Wouldn't it be uh, Dante Must Die because isn't Son of no, Sparta? No, Son of Sparta. Isn't that normal? That's no, hard. hard. Isn't Dante Must Die the one above that? Very hard, essentially. Mm. thought it was just Dante Must Die. No. It's Son of Sparta layouts, but you die in one hit. They have their defense attributes from Son of Sparta too on Hell and Hell. Here we are, and I think this is the one that forces you to fight a Hell Vanguard before you finish your journey. I can't remember, does this take us back to where Beowulf was, or is it somewhere else? It might be somewhere else, unless, uh, I really hope I'm not going the wrong way here. <laughs> oh, so All the times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck you and your alarm, Sean. <laughs> then they turn his alarm off. <laughs> How'd you look away? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't really hit me. <laughs> he doesn't have the guts to do it. <laughs> but back to Devil May Cry 3, 
No more interruptions, please. <laughs> <laughs> you got a hell vanguard to deal with. By now, you really should know how to deal with these guys. <laughs> Same with the sand people. <laughs> Their greater numbers won't help them. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be fantastic. Uh, well, that, that was a great joke in one of the previous parts. Uh, <laughs> Alright, but it only game. works uh, once. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know how that didn't hit me because I clearly... <laughs> it clearly should have. Mm. Yeah, that journey doesn't end until you kill that hell man. Oh, so you'll be stuck in a loop. Yeah, if you don't. Yeah, basically play. you can't just wait him out. Why am I going now don't this? fall off the stairs. <laughs> yes. Well, yes. fire and detot, lava morsel. Oh, this is a different area. No, it's one of those lads that doesn't have those railings on each uh, side, so you can't. Yeah, but if you fall. noticed there was lava then, so if you fall off the stairs, you're going straight into lava. Yeah, you remember this area <laughs> oh, from earlier. Fuck now this. we can go for it, but in order to get through, you have to pick a certain path for it. You'll be dealing with the chest pieces as you make. Was it a trick it. to work out which way you actually have to go, or is it just pick a door and go straight? Uh, I think it's back at the door. Oh, there is a set path. I think it, I think both paths take you to the blue or fragment, but it really is a case of like you'll fight, you'll figure out eventually. Yeah, the the pawns are easily the weakest of the chess pieces. There are no problem whatsoever. Their attacks are very telegraphed, so it might as well be free red orbs in high style rank at this point. It's the later ones that are going to be a real problem, <laughs> like the knight. Uh, <laughs> oh, believe me, that thing is. Not exactly the easiest to deal with. And the camera has the ability to go through doors. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All video games do that. Yeah. <laughs> the camera is the most powerful <laughs> thing in all video games, it seems. Remember how they tried to just... Here's the knight. Oh, these fuckers. Oh, so they're all based on chess pieces, okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we I think we actually, attention <laughs> yes, I think we did actually call them yeah, chess pieces did. at first. And we did see you fight the whole chessboard at some point. Now the knight at close range, there'll be a very small pause where it brings its head down and then attempts to run with it like that. Other times it'll jump into the air. There's a small delay before it finally brings it. Okay, um, then where, where's the bishop? Uh, I think that's the one with the wand that heals everyone or yeah. uses fire magic and I hate those assholes. Yeah. And what about the king and queen? Oh, we'll see, oh them we'll see them later. Believe me, <laughs> you're, we only see them once in the game. And speak, that's of, enough. <laughs> speak, speak of chess pieces, you know, in the, there was that chess piece game in both the original Resident Evil 2 and in the remake. Do you yeah. can you imagine that this is how you had to get, actually earn the chess piece? You have to fight them. <laughs> <laughs> like, that? I thought that was a blue orb. There is definitely a blue orb fragment in one of the rooms. Yeah, like this. I, I remember I that think, myself. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I do get it in this run as well, so it might well, be later when you, you did. Well, you did say run. that you did say this is not a 100% playthrough. No, because <laughs> uh, again, a lot of the secret missions are just complete bullshit to try and beat in your first playthrough. Oh damn! It. Is that the only reason why this is considered the hardest of the series? It's just because of the bonus missions? No, not just not the bonus missions. It's because the overall difficulty and and like enemy patterns and stuff. I'm trying to figure it out on your first playthrough. Remember, the original ver <laughs> the red orbs are stuck in my dare in the cutscene. The uh, remember the difficulty in the original DMC three was the the normal was Japanese hard, <laughs> so we were stuck at an even bigger disadvantage uh. on top of not knowing what to do on the first run for it. <laughs> I think this is the bishop, and I hate this guy. Yeah. Oh, he's got some magic wand. I think that's the one that heals them. There's one that's if he spouts fire, if he spawns fire around him. That's, uh, there are two types of bishops. One that heals the others, who is an absolute asshole, by the way. <laughs> and yeah. the one that spawns fire magic around him. The fire will spawn around him as some little small spheres at first. Then it will take form as a flame. Then it will damage you. Congratulations, form, you've just opened the shrine of the silver, silver monkey. monkey. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're gonna, now we're going to watch you fail miserably trying to put it together. <laughs> if you make it out of this dungeon in 10 minutes, we'll give you a Kodak oh, camera. There is, uh, the blue <laughs> fragment's right there, actually. It's behind the floor. Oh, shit. Yeah, there, see. Ah, is that, ah, so that's how you can tell the ones with the blue gem in their staff must be Oh, I, I never noticed that. The I, the oh. fire ah, well, the gem just changed colour there. I just... Well, I must tell you what mode they're in. Oh, there, yeah. Yeah, the, the, ah, oh, that, that, that's the heal so, effect. Believe me, <laughs> I'm so glad that there weren't any enemies around when he did that, because he would have healed them. Yeah. And I think they well, do get full health back. Well, that's how you can back. tell what mode they're in. Believe me, the healers, 
Target the healer, Sparks on Dante must die because the last thing you want is Devil Trucker and enemies getting healed up. Can you imagine if they are, can you imagine the final boss? You, uh, yeah, it's, they just add no. You actually have to have a game of death, death chess. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mr. Yeah, Wee really Mr. Weasley comes out of nowhere to give you a helping hand <laughs> and sacrifices himself as a knight. I never understood why he stayed on top of the piece. Couldn't he have just ordered it to <laughs> go across the? the no board? idea. Maybe part of maybe it's part of the rules of it or something. Go well because the horse has got to have a personality. Aye. Oh, you're right. That makes my Right, God, give me more stuff. Oh, wait, mate, I don't think I have enough. I'm sorry, Dante, you don't have enough red orbs. Come back when you're... Mmm... Richer. richer. Uh, so satisfied to take these assholes apart with Spiral. Yeah. Oh, you missed. <laughs> yeah, the stairs can get in your way if you don't possess them. So the red arrows do more damage, so watch out for those. You made some shit, they fire green arrows, and they actually give you a health back. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, all of our queens just like... Someone stealing my shtick. <laughs> <laughs> I think the. Oh, here's another battle theme, actually. Uh, it starts with. I think the Larry you really crossed the lane. I don't know what it is. But is it the same? Or is it a different battle theme altogether? This one plays throughout most of the second half of the game. I don't know what's. I don't know if it is an actually different song, but if think, it is, it I plays throughout the second half of the game. I think it is a different song. I wouldn't know because I've not played the entire series. Yeah. Yeah. When you, when you, and the bat, yeah, you saw that asshole was actually stuck trying to move away from me. Right. Believe me. <laughs> if he oh, was doing that. fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were prepared for you. <laughs> oh, believe me, Andrew, we have not seen the worst of it yet when it comes to the chest pieces. Oh. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to see your reaction. This is actually like the one Stylish. place, ever, this is the one area everyone keeps. What happened there? I was clearly in range of that and it didn't hit me. Why are you, why are you complaining? Just take it, you, no, got, so you like, didn't get hit. Oh, I did get hit there, apparently, because I went down to blast. Uh, well, they even make horse noises. Yep. I love horses. <laughs> That's nice to you. <laughs> Not Alice. Went for that too. Mm. This is like the one area everyone abuses the hell out of to get the a lot of red orbs in style rank for the S rank on this mission. Because right. there's so many enemies and they're like they have very telegraphed attack patterns. Do you think that was a bit of a mistake on the developers part believing this amount of enemies? <laughs> no, because I, I just got clipped there. So you, you can still get hit and lose your style rank. I'm so glad the DMC5 buffed your devil trigger so that you don't lose style <laughs> when you get hit. Only if it's an attack that does not knock you on your ass. If it's strong enough to knock you down, then you will still lose style. Ah. Uh, uh. oh, I, I love hitting multiple enemies. Oh, God. At all at once. <laughs> I got hit multiple times. There weren't was. your fingers getting tired at this point? <laughs> that is a f yeah. <laughs> I did. I think I did all of this in two two days, actually. Like, I'm, I'm not the type of person who likes to leave a playthrough unfinished in Devil May Cry when I start it, I off, more often just finish it. Uh -huh. And you know what I do, you know what the, more often than not, the first thing I do is when I start, start all over again on Son of Sparta <laughs> in the next playthrough. <clears throat> Son of Sparta is hard mode, that was introduced at 4 onwards. Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> Watch out for my fiery blades, son. <laughs> Yeah, so like even I get Ah, caught. the bishop. Ah, oh, <laughs> damn it. You see, the flame isn't active until it, it spouts off like that. Then yeah, right. you can act, then it actually hits you. Yeah, while it's forming around them like that, there's a small pause before they're considered active. Can you imagine the bishop just comes in and out of nowhere he says, Fuck off, grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, the portal. Yeah, yeah, I just remembered. I went into that room for a huge red orb game from all those enemies. Because yeah. uh, that portal, the, see that blue thing in the background? That's where you need one at. Yep. Alright, archers! Loose! <laughs> yeah, I hate these things. Mm. I, I, believe me, level 3 spiral helps so much against them. Because it knocks them down as well. So, that's the time you can use to close Love out Love planets. Yeah, we're yeah. back here. We're actually at the yes. end of the mission, because uh, all I need to do is head to yes. where to the... This building the, where Cerberus right, was, but I'm going back. In There's those two bowels, remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get them now, <laughs> but not during the secret mission, so... Right. <laughs> Stephen fails to see bowels, gets embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I have redeemed well, myself. I was going to go check out the. Um, you could examine the bulls in the display there. there Wait, do I, I don't know if I show that off. Uh, I have the bulls in the background there. You can examine them. It's kind of tries to make a reference as if they represent Dante and Virgil. <laughs> Well, and then some alternate universe. Right. 67, 66 yeah, Slum Avenue. We're back here at the beginning. Uh, this isn't where you need to go, but I'm going back here to show off something. I think you get there's an item waiting for me at the very start. You know where Dante is now fucked. How it's like there? it's like Dante got lost. Is like oh shit, I went the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> How did you go the wrong way? It's a giant fucking tower. Oh, so call Veronica then. So Dante pulled the knuckles. He made a <laughs> massive U-turn. You can get <laughs> lost so easily. In, in fact, uh. You're not gonna believe us, Andrew, but when we get when I get to Vera in my Veronica playthrough, I do actually use the map. <laughs> that's how like that's how confusing the game is for me. And I, this is after I platinumed it on PS2 Classic version too. I was stuck with the PAL version, so it was even harder trying to A rank the battle. I was that stupid fucking, slow down. Yeah, that All fucking right. sucked. Never a ranking the battle game in the PAL version again. Why are you examining the rubble while you're in the middle of a fight? Yeah, yeah. the <laughs> detection for where you can examine it's kind of off there. It's like when you accidentally... Andrew, you've played a classic Resident Evil where you accidentally examine a background object yeah. while mm -hmm. fighting enemies. Mm -hmm. Same spiel here. <laughs> oh, I, I love the stinger. Like, that one, that one battle grunt they use. Yeah, they've yes, been using that. We know. <laughs> they've been, they've been using that since. Free. It's almost as if you've used them with a lot. Yeah. They used, they've been using that one grunt since free all the way into four, and they re-recorded it in five. Is that, <laughs> is that a gold orb I see? Yeah, that's why I went back here. I think there are, I think you can fight a hell vanguard here as well, or it might just be these moves. Yep, gold orb. Why am I not picking it up? Oh, I think the head detection for picking it up is really strict. As oh, well. unless you have to defeat all the enemies. No, you can pick it up during the combat. It's just I'm being blocked by the freaking model. I think I'm <laughs> waiting until I'm done. <laughs> You're not going for it. Uh, it's right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh two, two of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Instant continue on the spot if you die. Like, think of it as an extra life. Right. Only it doesn't respawn you outside the room, it's just instant. So, kind of like the, um, in Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, you have a first taste spray, when you die, you instantly use it and it comes, it lets you go back to the action. <laughs> I completely forgot that you, that you could only use those after game over. <laughs> it's like the character dies and then they use it. Imagine if that happened. <laughs> like, Chris falls to the ground in RE5, then he just uses the spray gets back up. <laughs> Which is more advanced than what Rebecca can do. All you need to do is just whip out a can and go... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, a spray paint can do her job. Nah. At this point, I'm only going for the, the good red orb gain I would get from them. Uh. Oh, wow. Yeah, the hitbox for that. If he does the vertical slash jumping upwards out I would, of the ground. Do you know what? I would pay to say either boots or any of your local men... You know, Jojen's barbers or jo 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 you know, aftershave or Jojen's store. There's a can of first aid spray, but it's actually a, a minty Jojen. <laughs> oh the yes, form of a can of first aid spray. And it's actually called first aid. I think at this point in the game, the enemies start dropping white orbs more frequently as well. Now the the jump attack it does out of the ground where it slashes vertically that has a massive massive hitbox. You can't not even air hike can save you from uh, actually. Right. <laughs> you have to get out of the way with Trickster. Yeah, oh, great. More. Yeah, you're not bothering. Yeah, yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> fuck this shit. I'm, fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> Go. Like, I think that's the last we'll see of the Enigmas too, right. if I remember correctly. Is that the ones with the the big bulb thing? No, the the arrows. Right. Okay. The guy, the guy, those annoying assholes shooting the arrows. Yeah, here we are. This is it. actually the end of the mission. I think the red orb cache from earlier is back. No, wait, it's not. When <laughs> you look at that time, right. oh fuck, I've got to climb that again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but although it does kind of take a shortcut. We won't. You know, that's the beauty of it, though. We don't have to do it end game. Watch. That's it. That's the end of the mission. Yeah. After this cutscene. Oh, I mean, lady's I mean, bike. Yep, yeah, this is how he screws <laughs> lady over in this one. <laughs> I never knew this was lady's bike until like years later. Like, I completely forgot. Alright. And then they would take this idea and give it an upgrade in Devil May Cry 5. Yep. Yeah. I cannot wait to get to that weapon. Alright. 
Look at me, I'm fancy! Why are they more capped at this? <laughs> oh dear. I'm just... Unless the ribbon was just sitting on... Oh like, fuck! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And that's the end of the Don't Cry Free point for when we hope you enjoy. Oh! Yeah, that's that's some anime bullshit right there. Yeah, apparently this is also <laughs> Spider Man's bike. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. The best part of this is the aftermath. Alright. <laughs> oh, I forgot to see this. Really? We can't tell. If only these were made into a live action movie, or at least a very a 3D animated movie there like is this. A, I think there is another series on the way from Netflix, or that, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> and strike the pose, and oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh what's Lady gonna say? <laughs> I love how the only I thing left for the handlebars. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a fun, that's a running joke, actually. He often always laid in money for yeah. the series. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of implied why ladies are in the pay gets at the end of them yeah. for so small it's kind of saying he's actually paid off her and because you were so fixated on getting that gold orb look at your time yeah this is one of the, yeah the time the, the time system is very unforgiving thankfully DMC5 does the also wonderful and godlike design choice of throwing it away so the only thing that matters is your performance overall Oh, here comes trouble. Wait until she finds she out what you did to your I don't your, think she knows bike. about the bike. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't There's one of the um, kind of artwork pictures you can unlock in the game where he's actually, he's obviously, he's obviously just handed the handlebars back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so she's got the handlebars. That's so how she finds out. Oh. Yeah. oh my god. <laughs> well, we fucked the lady over and uh, our next mission number is heading right there. there. See you guys in the next part. Yeah.